Hi everyone, Ned FQ here and welcome to another Space Engineers episode. So what we're going to do today is I want to actually build another mining ship because this one is pretty useless to be perfectly honest. It's, um, you know, with a full load, it's very underpowered and um, yeah, it only has two uh, medium cargo containers. So it's not exactly got the capacity that I really want. And also too, it only has one battery, which makes it really useless for long duration and things like that. It's it's quite crap. I mean, if we go into it um, and we go to the inventory, let's just check out the um, cargo containers. Oh, what is it? Oh, no, I want inventory, don't I? Um, I want the medium, Med yeah, so basically each of these cargo, con cargo containers only hold 3,375 litres of stuff, which isn't that, isn't that much. It's only basically 6,700 litres, um, which, which isn't much at all. It's, it's quite ridiculous. So what I want to try and do is I want to build a mining ship that uses a large cargo container that can store up to seven, sorry, 15,000 litres and also too I want to stick in a couple more batteries than just one and also I want to use some small reactors just you know to keep the power going and to keep those batteries recharged so um, yeah let's start work on that shall we but first of all what I want to do is I want to move our little miner if I can go where, there this guy here this little guy here I want to move this guy and uh, let's just undock him and we'll move him inside so I've got some room to build our, our bigger miner. Now the great thing about this, I was just thinking about this the other day, um, this little miner would be great for mining out this ice here because it's just so maneuverable and um, yeah it can get right into all the cracks and can easily mine out this ice which is which is fantastic the only problem is that the ice here is you know few and far between so if I stop it now and go into our inventory <coughs> you can see we're basically full now and we've only got what well, we've got 7,000 or well, 7k worth of stone 7,000 stone but we've only got 1.68k of, of ice well some up here in the drill as well but we're getting more stone the ice than ice so this ice deposit here isn't exactly the best um so what i want to do also is because you know the ore on the moon is you know you've got the stone around it so i want to also with our new mining ship create a mining ship that can eject um, all the stone that we don't need so we've got more room for the actual ore that we want to collect um, so let's go and build something that is able to do that for us um, now let me try and park this uh, is that outside yeah okay it's outside brilliant right let's see if we can park this without crashing oh too far again when this when this mine is uh, loaded as well it, it um, isn't exactly the most maneuverable <laughs> uh, let's come down go back up oh, back I said back that's it down a bit oh there we go we are connected and park boom leave it great okay and that should basically be extracting all the um, ore out and um, because we do have that sorter there that's going to suck all the ore out into our refineries so that's that done right now let's go build our ship um, so first of all let's start off with a landing gear uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get a landing gear now the reason why obviously we have a landing gear first is just so we can tell space engineers that we want to have a um, uh, what do you, what do they call it? A um, a small block grid, and not a large block grid. So I'm just going to grab my welders, right? Just so we've got something to play with here, and um, 
Right, now let's us go and get a couple of these blocks here. Oop, not that one. And we'll just do a couple high. Something like that. Brilliant. Alright, and we'll do a couple on each side as well. Oops. Brilliant. Now what I want to do is for this one, I want to use the new cockpit. The, the mining cockpit that you we got from the latest DLC pack. And this is a, here, the industrial cockpit. So I want to create a ship based around that. So this is it here. So pretty funky looking. Obviously, as you can see, there's no connectors at the bottom. All the connectors to it are at the top or at the back. Uh, if I can show you, yeah, two at the back, two small at the back and one small at the top. So we're going to stick this guy basically here. So if I go and bang him there, boom, brilliant. There we go. Oh, I need to make some bulletproof glass, don't I? Okay. Right, now this is another thing I wanted to do as well. Because we've only got these connectors here, that basically at some stage are going to have ships on them. We want some way to get components or to access the um, the assemblers easily without having to, you know, rip out a ship or go back into our base. So what I want to do is I actually just want to create a little connector here as well, connected to this um, conveyor system. So because the conveyor system is attached at the top, we should be able to remove this without any problems. Fingers crossed. Great, yep, didn't fall down. And we should be able to remove that. Brilliant. Now I'm going to put a conveyor junction there. Boom. And then I'm going to put a connector. <coughs> Just along here like that. Brilliant. So if I weld that up. Great, there you go. So now it's a bit ugly. We'll have to move this control panel um, somewhere else. But as you can see, we can come along here and then we've got access to everything, uh, which is fantastic. So let's just uh, do a thousand of them, why not? Right, now, there is it. There's our funky cockpit. Ooh, yeah, with sparks flying everywhere. So it's all pretty dark in here because it's all offline because there's no power. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Loving the new cockpit. Right, now let's start work on this sucker here. Right, what I want to do is this guy here, I want to have um, four drills on it. Um, just because, hey, why not? Uh, so I need to basically be able to connect four drills up. So what I'm going to do is at the back here, I'm going to just extend the conveyor system like that. And then I'm going to also come, what am I going to do? I'm going to come out one more, probably. Oh, not like that. Oh, oh quick. Let's, oh, I can't climb it down. Bug it. Um, get the right tab. Right. Okay, let's actually put those conveyor junctions on here. There we go. That's going to be better. Um, right, so I want to basically extend it out this way a bit, and extend it out that way, one more, and one more. So if I go like that, and also if I get a drill, let's just see how that's going to work. Um, if I put a drill there, turn it around the right way. Is that gonna yeah that looks all yeah that looks awesome okay so we're gonna have a drill on each side there brilliant now what I want to do is I want to basically come straight down um, let's do a small um, block I'll get rid of that because I don't need to cook it anymore um, yeah what I want to do is I want to basically come If I put one there, one there, and one there, and again, one there, one there, and one there. Uh, 
Now I want the drills to be basically the same size, so I'm not entirely sure how how I'm gonna do this. Um actually that's not gonna work, is it? Let's just drill the amount or grind them down. Um, I basically need to put that down here so without it looking ugly. Um, <laughs> uh, so what I want to probably do is um, if I put one down there, one down there, uh, one down there and then extend these over. like so no actually i want one more down so I, let's just drill them sorry about that uh have it one more down and we'll come over this way and let's get a line up yep one two three okay and then we'll put another drill there and we'll put another drill there okay that looks quite funky doesn't it or should those drills these drills are fine yeah no that, that should be fine not sure if these drills at the side here the top side should be one higher um because they seem quite low don't they uh yeah actually let's um yeah let's actually put them one higher i think because that's going to make more sense uh so great thing about space engineers is that well i wouldn't say it's a great thing but there's a lot of trial and error um It sometimes does take a while to get the right design going on. Um, I guess that's uh, one reason why people use creative mode is that um, it's easier to try things out without wasting resources. Um, but hey, I, I like this one. It's all sort of, um, you know, I think you get more satisfaction when you try it out in survival mode rather than um, you know rather than um, creative mode right let's have a look at that does that look better yeah that looks better doesn't it those drills are a little bit higher now and you see those drills there we go I think that's brilliant yep that's gonna work nicely awesome right so that is that now as I said before uh, this is going to be using um, basically small reactors right so so if I get some small reactors here now I think for these small reactors we're probably going to want uh, if I can connect it to the conveyor system it's going to be better there we go one there uh, and one there I uh, probably don't have the, oh yeah, I do have all the components for them, which is great. Should two reactors be enough? I really want to put more than just two, don't I? No, two, two should be enough. Yeah, we can always add more later if we need to. Right, next thing I need to do is put a whole bunch of gyros on it. Because we want this to be um, as stable as possible. So I'm going to put one there, um, one there, uh, one there, and one there. So that's four gyros, two reactors, and it looks pretty beefy already, doesn't it? Um, so what I want to do is I just want to extend. <coughs> oh, I can't put armor plates there. Oh, that's going to be an issue. Oh, because it's uh, the wrong sort of armor plate. 
There we go. Let's try that again. Um, I basically want to come along here. Come along here. Um, come down. Oh, okay. Let's go get some energy before I start any more work. <clears throat> right, let's go down our stairs here. Oh, why did I leave that open? That's not very good. Turn green. And green, brilliant. And this guy is still pressurizing. <clears throat> I left all the doors open. I think that's from last episode. Because remember last episode we had that pressurization issue? Uh, but as you can see, all I did is restart the game. And uh, yeah, we have pressure again. So that's just really funky. I don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah, space engineers, fix it please. Because it is pressurized. Why did it say it was unpressurized in the last episode, hey? Mm. Anyway, it's working again now, and I basically have not done anything. So, um, yeah, go figure. There we go. Right, let's get out here. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is, uh, yeah, we need uh, basically batteries. So I'm going to go stick a whole bunch of batteries on this thing. Um, so let's go for... Um, that's a, interesting. Uh, how am I going to actually put them on? Should they be like um, down on... I can't hold them. I think we'll put another block here. Oh. God, that's going to look quite horrible, isn't it? Oh, no, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. And put that there, that there, and that there. Right, now I'll get our batteries. And basically, I think we want to... Do we want to flush? Can I actually put three along there? No, I can't put three, can I? I can put two. Okay, two batteries there. And in here, what I want to do is I actually want to put an ore detector. <clears throat> uh, so we can hide that away in here. Brilliant, we'll just cover the uh, <laughs> the small reactor and the gyroscopes. And also too, what I want to do is I want to put an antenna here. Oh, have I not unlocked antennas yet? Probably not. Um, yeah, because I need I um, got the build and repair system to build that beacon, so that hasn't unlocked the antenna. So. Uh, yeah, let's go and uh, destroy that beacon and um, make it again. Uh, first of all, I need to put some of my stuff away because I've got too much of it. Uh, put in a large cargo container. Right, there we go. Right. Let's go grind that uh, um, beacon and then weld it up again. There we go, weld it up. Brilliant, and we'll unlock the stuff we need to. Brilliant. Right, so come back over here. Oh, why is that not working? Because I don't have power cells. Right, let me um, <clears throat> put some power cells to build. Uh, power, power, power cells. There we go. So let's... 500 of them should work. Hopefully that'll start. Yep, brilliant. Good. Right. Now the antenna. Right, and we can put the antenna right next to the ore detector. Brilliant! There we go. Right, so now what we want to do is we need to put a large cargo container. So we go large cargo container. And here it is here. So as you can see, um, on two sides, actually, yeah. Three sides it's got large ports and then three sides it's got small ports. So I basically want to make sure that the small ports are connected <clears throat> to the right things. Now is that not symmetrical? That's not symmetrical is it? 
One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's going to be, oh, yuck. No. Oh, you're going to screw it up. Right, let us, uh, shite. Yeah, that's not, um, that's not good. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to have to start. <laughs> we're going to have to start again. Um, sorry about that. That's just ridiculous. Uh, actually, let's just get rid of all of this. Uh, what I want to do is... Wow, that's, um... Why can't I put a... Oh, let's, let's just have a look here. So can I, if I put that there, that is, okay, that's symmetrical. That works. Yeah, that works. Okay, so how come that didn't work the other time then? Right, let's try that again. Sorry about that. Right, let's just get rid of that. <clears throat> Change the color back. Right, build and repair system, get rid of it. Right, so... Because I didn't extend it out further. Okay, so, yeah, right. Mm. That's going to be quite interesting. Um, well, I have an idea. Right, let's extend this guy here out one. Like that. Right, we're going to put out all detector on that side. Now, why can't we place that all detector? Um, because we can't, no, I can't move. Oh, okay, we can, okay, fine. Right, we'll just have to do it up there. That's fine, I guess. Right, up there, and we're going to do our antenna. On the other side, I guess, up here. Have it facing out, why not? Right, now, if we put these going out one more. And we can put them in here, and here, and there, and in there. And then one down there, and then one over there. Right, so now we have a port here for our large cargo container which hopefully should line up um, boom now that yeah good so the small ports now going to there which is brilliant so we've got large 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 and small and small and the other small one is obviously connected into our conveyor junction here which is then in turn connected to one the cockpit and two the four drills so that's brilliant right now i need to worry about the batteries um <clears throat> oh okay let's find out why uh, why is that i need a detector so let me just go build a detector component uh, oh no, not a reactor component. Where the detectors are there? There we go. Let's go somewhere. Right. Um. Right. So that's that done. Uh, ba 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 ba. That should be all built, which it is. That is all built, which it is. We have our two reactors in there. One on that side, and one on that side, and we have all our gyros. Now let us go ahead and put some batteries on this thing. Um, so what I can do, I guess, is we could basically have them flat like that. Uh, one. Two. I guess two. Pretty awesome. Can we build, can we rob them up? Build, am I out of power cells again? I thought I created 500, oh no, there we go, brilliant, okay, right, there's our batteries, 
there's our large cargo container um, and what I wanted to do is uh, yeah so this is done basically now uh, what I need to do is I need to put a um, a conveyor connector on it uh, which I guess Oh, bugger. Oh, that's going to be quite horrible. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to have a connector with a large at the bottom. So I've only got... Um, yeah, I had to... Oh, yeah, I need to ro rotate this one more around, don't I? Bugger. Right, okay, let's get rid of that then. There we go, get rid of that. Right, and now let us put it back. Hopefully we can fit it. Oh, where's our connect? There we go. Right, um, so that's our small. And small, we want to rotate like that. Another media storm inbound. So hopefully that will weld up. I wonder where those meteors are coming from. Don't know. Anyway, right, so that's basically got the connector going there, which is all fine. And we have one at the bottom. And uh, the great thing about that is now we can stick one of these things on it. Uh, if it rotate it that way. Is that gonna really oh no oh that didn't work. <laughs> Why didn't that work? Let's try that again. Yeah, right. Boom. Boom. What is that? No. Yeah, boom. Right, there we go. Uh, small steel tubes, motors, we should all have them, which we do, brilliant, great, energy. awesome, oh, okay, let's go get some more energy then, before I die, which we don't want to do, should really put some artificial gravity on this base, oh no, we don't mind the moon, what do we need artificial gravity for, it's already got gravity, uh, come on green light, where are you, here we go, We should actually get another hydrogen tank as well, because uh, yeah, hydrogen is always good to have. And green, oh, sorry, red, yeah, green, right. Let's go get some hydrogen. Oop, ouch. Hydrogen, where are you, hydrogen? Hydrogen, hydrogen. Brilliant, get some oxygen as well. Why not? <clears throat> there we go. Right, now. Cool, now we want to put some pooper scoopers on there. Ah, but before we do that, we want to put some ion engines on here. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is I actually want to use um, a combination of the small ion thrusters and the large ion thrusters. Because I think that would be cool. <clears throat> so what I want to do is, uh, yeah, I want to basically have some uh, pointing this way. Uh, is that going to work? Is that going to be one back? How about that? Oh, and I did place. Why can't I place it there? I can't even place it there. Why? Because it's got... Okay, it needs to be one up. Alright, okay. Alright, that's fine. Um, let us extend it a bit. Uh, just come out one more. <coughs> right. Now let 
let's try placing it. We still can place it. Why can't we place it? Ugh, this is not enough room. Oh, that's really annoying, that is. Unless we put these ones down one. Right, let's uh let's try putting these ones here down one. Just so we um have a little bit more room to play with. Um so what I will do is I will just extend that down one. Oh, that's not going to work though, is it? <coughs> oh no, that'll work. Because I'm just worried about the connection here. Um, it's not going to be this low though, right? We're going to extend this up one more. So it's actually off the ground. Um, yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Because then we don't have the, um, <coughs> the mining um, heads hitting the ground. Uh, right. One drill there, and one drill there. Right, so that basically means we should be able to put a large iron fosters one there. And one there. Oh, that looks menacing, doesn't it? <clears throat> so we've got two large iron fosters to give us backwards um, speed, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's just extend that out here a bit more. Right, so that basically means we need to extend this back. So we can basically put the same on the back ass of this thing. Like so. One there. Alright, and again we'll do the same over this way. And just extend this out. And we'll put another large, like so. Brilliant! What is that? Is that even? No, that's one. Sorry, <coughs> extended it out one too many tiles. So um, let's go and get rid of that, and get rid of two of those. Now, go and build a repair system. You got it. Uh, back to that button. Actually, that's a good point, is that? Yeah, that's basically right. Bang. There. Boom. Right. <coughs> so, there we go. So, that will give us backwards thrust and forwards thrust and what I'll also do is since we're here um, I'm going to basically grab some uranium just to put in our small reactors uh, so what I'll need to do is no, uh, where is it down here uh, we need to go to our large reactor because that's where the uranium is uh, so let us go and take. Why can't I? No, no, no. Oh, is this not connected? Uh, can I take a ten? No. Why can't I take out any of the uranium? 
That's really interesting. Why isn't that connected, I wonder? Ah! <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because of that. It's a one-way system. So I have to take it out from this guy here. Silly me. Right, let's try that again. Large reactor. Right, now let's... Can we take out 10 at a time? It's 20, actually. So we'll do 20... We'll come in here, um, we'll go to our inventory and we'll go small reactor and we're going to put 20 in one, there you go, and then we'll go get another 20, uh, large reactor, another 20, and then we'll come in here and we put another 20 in the other reactor brilliant so those two reactors should now be working and as you can see current output is uh, 500 kilowatts because they are basically charging those batteries uh, where are those batteries if i can spell batteries correct yeah fully recharged in one hour so that's fine right uh, yeah so now what we need to do is we need to put our pooper scoopers on here um, so what I will do is I will just extend these out like so oh half box yeah why not wonder why it defaults to half box all the time oh yeah yeah, <laughs> don't, don't put your face right next to a live ion foster because um, you'll get it burnt off. <laughs> right, let's just put that there like so. And uh, what I want to do is, um, I guess we'll use this junction here. So let's put a little turning bracket there uh, if I can line it up properly there we go one there and we'll do one on the other side why not just to make things symmetrical and we'll come out one two uh, one two and we'll do another turning frame uh, No, we won't. No, no, no. What we'll do is we'll grind that one down and grind that one down. What we'll do is we'll do a sorter. So we'll do a small conveyor sorter. And we'll put them on each end going out. Okay, another one going out. Brilliant. And we'll configure them uh, a bit later. Let's just get the rest of these conveyors working. And why can't I place that? There we go, going down and going down. Now along here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a whole bunch of conveyor junctions. all the way along like that and then I'm going to get an uh, what's it, what are they called? An ejectors ejector and a whole bunch of these ejectors and I'm just going to plant them one two three four five six seven <coughs> so we've got two sorters one sorter there one sorter there and that's connected to seven ejectors now how we configure their map is if we go into our cockpit here and we go to the control panel <clears throat> we can go to our small um, conveyor sorters and we can basically say that uh, the whitelist we want 
just stone so if we go down to stone uh, I guess it'll be under S for stone which it's not where is it uh, shite where is it Ah, oh, stone right okay there we go it was under S for stone <laughs> if we add that to our whitelist and that's it and we want to drain all so we want to drain all the stone so it's going to pump all the stone through that sorter which is great so that's exactly what we want to do and we want to basically do the same for our second sorter so again drain all only for the white list of stone there we go so it's going to drain all stone shove it through the sorter now what we want to do is for our injectors e eject no, it's not there why aren't they there what are they called oh e oh e hey eject oh, okay i just wasn't paying attention so yeah for these ejectors basically what are, what we want to do is we want to say click all and throw out all so collect everything, let's shove to it, and just throw it out. And of course the only thing it's going to throw out, or they are only going to throw out the stone that the sorters pass to them. And there we go. Oop, no. Let me show that on the hub. Okay, so that's that done, that's that done, that's that one on as well that's those two on, that's those two on, that's those two on. Brilliant! So that's it! Right, <clears throat> so that's it. Our little mining ship, well, quite a big mining ship actually, is, uh, is uh, taking shape. Uh, so what I need to do now is we need to have the upwards thrust and the downwards thrust and the left and right thrust. So for the downwards thrust, what I can do is we can go ahead on, on each side, we're going to put a... Um, another large uh, ion engine uh, yeah that goes on the wrong way isn't it that's a bit silly bad me uh, let's put another connector the right way please there we go now hopefully that'll turn green once it's welded up there you go, green and yeah, green. Brilliant, right. Hopefully I've got the other one right. Yeah, this is that one's all green. Okay, right, brilliant. So yeah, uh large ion thrusters. So we're gonna have a large one that we can basically stick in a gap. Uh if I can. Oh come on, I can never get these controls right. Oh come on, where's the um Okay there we go. Can you fit in? No, that's too wide, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. All right, let's just. Where's the center of mass, do you think? Yeah, let's just do it here. One, two, right. Large iron engine. Can you fit in there? Why, why are you sticking out? Are you? You only need too wide, right? Oh, you're three deep. Oh, okay, bugger. Oh, is that gonna... Okay, well, we're gonna have to have you sideways in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so what I probably need to do is I just need to take another one off to the side. And actually, I want to do this because I want you inside, don't I? Just to protect the uh, iron engine from any damage that uh, may happen to it. Uh, one down. Okay. Why can't you go into there? You can go there, but you can't go there. Why not? Oops. <laughs> oh. oh my god, come on. Not with it today. Why can't you fit there? Why, why can't you go there? Okay, yeah, no, you can go there. Oh, okay, so you're too wide 
Oh, sorry, yeah, two wide and three deep. Bugger. Uh, well, I don't think, yeah, don't have a choice, he has to go there. There we go. Yeah. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. That's fine. Don't have a choice, have to do that. Um, yeah, that's it. And then plug those holes up in a bit. Okay, cool. Alright, let's um, plug these holes up. Oh, no. Ah! Why is it defaulting to curved blocks? I mean, not curved blocks, half blocks. It's so annoying. Um, I guess we can go ahead and uh, just cover all this stuff up as well. Can I get one in that corner there? Yep. And one there. Great. And we'll cover these poopy scoopers up as well. Oh, don't want to put that one there. Let's get rid of that one before it's welded. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, we've got these holes here as well. Brilliant. Alright, get another one in there. Right, now what I can do is I can put half blocks here. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, why not? Not the proper thing I was going for, but it's alright. Uh, yeah, now half blocks. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> so not the best. Um, I wish these ones here. Um, look, ah, done it again. One half blocks. Um, oh, full blocks. There we go. Oops, same on that side. Yeah. I, um, I was hoping that you know, these ones at the back could be a little bit more protected rather than being out the open here, but I mean, we'll give it a go anyway. Um, I can put them back one. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just put them back one, actually. Just because uh, I don't like how they're just sticking out there like that. Um, Because, yeah, they look a bit exposed with the no rules and no doubt they are going to get banged and bruised <clears throat> when we try and back out of holes and all the rest of it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just get rid of them so we don't lose any components. Alright, the repair system should get rid of them. And then we can move them back one. There we go. Um, like so. Um. Actually, right, let's take them up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Just so we can. Um, Put some more padding along the bottom here. Cool. Uh, I should want to do that for a few minutes. Uh, do need a grinder, don't I?
Right, how does that look to you guys? That looks alright, doesn't it? Ish. <laughs> um. Oops. Let's just grab that back up. Uh. Oh, that was the wrong way. No, ah. Alright, there we go. Right, so we've got that, we've got that, we've got the pooper scoopers. Uh, now we need the thrust to go sideways, so I guess we can put them at the top here. Um, now for sideways, what I'll do is I'll use these small ones here. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five. That should be enough. Alright, I'm going to come along here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's our left and right thrust. Left and right thrust, brilliant. Don't really like how those batteries are just exposed like that. Um, Oh, the game just lagged out majorly then. So I don't want to put too many armor blocks on here just because um, I don't want the, um, the game to start lagging out. Oh, that's one, one, two, three, four, five. Energy low. Three, four, oh, did I? Oh, I put it right at the front, didn't I? Right, okay. Uh, let me go get energy and then I'll um, make those uh, <coughs> small iron thrusters symmetrical. Get the symmetry going. Uh, I really need to put some uh, other area that I can get uh, energy from. Because having to come down here all the time is really annoying. I should have a medical bay outside somewhere, I guess. Just to make life easier. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Still need to move those programmable blocks indoors as well right so what i need to do is i need to basically get rid of this guy here and then i need to grind down here <clears throat> and then i can put it back like so Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get rid of uh here, yeah, don't uh don't be right next to that iron engine, will you? Um, can't really do anything about in here, can I? No, there's no room to put a block in there. No, that's fine. Um, okay, so yeah, let's just take this off then, I guess. Boom. Yeah. 
up over this way. Spotlights on here as well. So we're going to make it really cool and we're going to put uh, one, two, three, and we want to put some up here as well, don't we? So let's put some blocks along here. There we go. And now we're going to put some headlights. One, two, three. <laughs> why not? Hey, eh? should I put some along here? Why not? One there and one there. There we go. That's going to make scene stuff really, really good. Massive amounts of uh, light there. Okay, right. So now we've got our sideways thrust. We've got our forward and reverse thrust. Uh, I actually want to put a couple more on the bottom because I don't think with the full load two ion thrusters are going to do it. So I'm going to put um, a couple of small ones along the bottom as well. So I'm going to do one there and put another one there. And uh, one more. So three along that side. And one, two, is that two, three, three along that side? Oh, actually, no. Oh, that's oh, hey, look, look. that's actually a better place to put them, actually, isn't it? Inside, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do, right? Okay, let's just uh, grind them down. And uh, let's actually put them behind because that looked a lot better. Uh, yeah, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, why not? Maybe a bit too close to this, but it's all right. Ah, uh, right. Now I seem to be out of something. What am I out of? The thruster components. Let us go and build some thruster components. Now, am I out of plutonium? No, I am out of gold, though. Bugger, right, let us go get some gold. Um, well, that's just really annoying. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's just empty our inventory of stuff. Um, and what we'll do is uh, we'll put our oxygen and oxygen, and we'll refill our hydrogen, and we'll bring that along as well. Right, let us quickly go get some platinum. No, gold, sorry. And our gold deposit is over here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, actually, do I actually have that on at the moment? Uh, gold, gold, gold. Show. Yep. Right. Where is it? There it is. Right, let's quickly go get some gold. <clears throat> it's always something. Going to be so much easier when we actually have a miner that's able to mine things relatively easily. There's a hole. Ouch! Right, let's drill away. Let's get our gold. Uh, 
take the gold nugget. Well, actually, I'll take everything because I'll just sort it out later. This could be the last time we actually have to manually go drilling for ore. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, we do have those other mining ships, but yeah, they're pretty useless. So I'm really excited to take this new one out just to check it out. See how better it is at actually mining stuff. Actually, also I want to take it to our uh, uranium deposit as well and go get a whole bunch of uranium because um, yeah the more uranium we have the uh, better it is because then we can create a whole bunch of small reactors to power our small craft I mean that'd be pretty awesome don't have to always rely on battery power well you still have to rely on battery power but you don't have to worry about recharging it up because um, the uranium you know the small reactors will, will do that for us Right, what do we have now? Just about full. Right, we're full. Uh, where's our hole? Uh, didn't we have a um a a hold here for rocks? No, we don't. Bugger. All right, we'll just dump it here. Um, stone, out you go. Thank you. All right. All right, let's go back over here and get our gold. Brilliant. Mine a bit more. <coughs> Because yeah, so I've got plans for um, up and coming episodes, well up and coming series, let's put it that way. So I guess this first series is to get ourselves established on the moon, uh, which we're pretty, pretty well done already, um, I would say so. Uh, I just need to basically build an attack craft that we can go out and harass the, uh, the NPC uh, drones around the place and uh, also to, yeah, build a couple more ships and also um, build a spaceship as well a, um, a full block spaceship so we can go out and uh, yeah colonize some asteroids so we can have a base on an asteroid uh, that'll be pretty awesome so I guess it'll be like probably the next series we'll try doing that um, so I guess this series we can then focus on getting prepared to go out into space, to go out and um, make a home amongst the asteroids. Um, and to do that, yeah, we need to make a much bigger ship that we can use to go and fly to the asteroids, which basically has everything on it that we will need to survive initially. And that includes the, uh, yeah, the, um, you know, the, uh, the assemblers and the refineries and the reactors for power and the medical bay and everything else that we'll need to put on the, the larger ship and of course defenses as well because there's a lot more hostile entities out in space than uh, there are here on the moon so we'll keep that in mind and I am about out of <coughs> energy I uh, hope we can get us bit more bit more gold before I have to run back to base and get my energy back um, yeah so that's yeah that's what I will probably do in the next upcoming series we'll go out amongst the asteroids out in space and uh, see if we can survive out there and um, <clears throat> yeah and then obviously we've still got to go to the other planets maybe well, I don't want to go to the Terran planet, planet. All we can do is probably go to Mars or even the alien planet. Um, I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, doing that in upcoming episodes, or well, not episodes, but upcoming series. And that'll be pretty cool. And then, yeah, also to yeah, create a whole bunch of other ships, some agile fighters as well, as I as I mentioned. 
so we can go and um, so that's it oh that's uh yeah okay we're full of um gold um yeah as i said yeah um go build some more agile ships um some attack craft so we can go out and um destroy some of these npc um signals that we have around the place yeah i know it's critical um yeah so stay tuned for all of that um and am i gonna make it before i run out nine percent hopefully we'll be able to make it yeah, over this hill there we go brilliant right let's quickly rush it without bouncing everywhere quickly rush back down all right close the airlock press your eyes come on come on come on and brilliant open that oh get that sweet sweet energy Ugh, thank god for that right now let's go back and um deposit this gold and build those thrusters right uh refinery 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 boom right there we go so hopefully we'll start building those which it is there we go one two yeah three on that side three on the side so that's it should we um should we give it a go actually what i want to do though is before we do that i want to grind down there and i want to put a conveyor junction there and i need steel plates interior plates wasn't it uh interior plates uh, right, well we'll get some steel plates and we'll get some interior plates there we go right let's try that again whoa too far right there we go one there and i connect that on the top like so brilliant right no moment of truth do you think this is going to fly or do you think it's too heavy should we uh, give it a go disconnect the landing gear oh yeah it floats <laughs> brilliant that is working perfectly right let's hop in and we'll see how maneuverable this is um, so here it is, so if I back up, oh yeah, look at that, to the side, to the side, yeah, again, sideways motion, not exactly the best, but hey, you know, it's pretty good, um, up, yep, and, ah, yeah, that's something I forgot. I don't have any downwards thrusters. So if I was upside down, yeah, I would fall. Yeah, okay, that's um that is going to be an issue. Um bugger. Okay, uh let's try and land it then. Um I wanna turn the initial dampeners off. So we actually start falling. Because that's the only way I'm going to get to the ground, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay, I hit the ground. Uh, so let's just go up a bit. Right, we'll get out, we'll hover there like that. Um, yeah, I need to put some downward thrusters there. And I guess I can put them along here. So I don't need that many downward thrusters. So probably three on each side. Is that, is that 
symmetric. No, it's not symmetric. Oh, yeah, it is. It's it it good. Right, okay. So let us put another three downward thrusters on each side. Where are the thrusters? There we go. Right, one, two, three. Okay, and on this side. One, two, three. Right, and actually what I want to do is I want to put another couple of thrusters at the side. Because yeah, they the left and right movement there wasn't wasn't exactly the greatest, so I'll just put another two thrusters there. So uh, why is that out for the why is that Oh, you can't. Ah, okay, right. Let's put it in there. Brilliant. That's one. And, oh, come on. Control, control. There we go. Grind that down. Put another thruster in here. Brilliant. Right, there we go. That looks interesting. <laughs> Right, let's get back in. So we have left, right, forward, back, yeah, left. Still not the best, but no, that'll do. And then we've got up, and we've got uh, down eventually. Yep, there we go, down. Brilliant. Awesome. And it's quite maneuverable and it doesn't fall out of the sky. So we'll see what happens when we have a full load in the sky. Um, yeah, it should be fine. Uh, what I want to do is I just want to take it for a test spin. Uh, what we can do is we can take it over to our... Uh, where is our... Where is our... Iron mine, is it? Is it put in front of us? Is it? Uh, where? I thought it was over here somewhere. Is it? Is it iron two? Is it iron iron two? No, iron one. Yeah. Okay. Straight in front of us. Well, if we go into first person view here. So here is our iron. Let us try and mine it. Um, right, let's just uh, group these things together first. Uh, control panel, uh, drill. So these are going to be the drills for the miner. Brilliant. Okay. Now we'll say drills, miner. Toggle on off. Right, start them up. There we go, a little bit of vibration, but that's alright. Let's position the camera properly. Right, if we come along here like so and we go out, we should see the pooper scoopers working. There they go. <laughs> so they are basically extracting all the um, stone that we're collecting and just basically dropping them so they are working perfectly right let's see if we can get in here and get some of this iron so if we go into our inventory we should see the stone going yeah and we're just collecting the iron because all the stone is basically getting thrown out which is which is fantastic. That's awesome. Right, let's see how we're doing here. So yeah, our drills are getting everything and yep, yeah, okay we'll 
starting to get a, a lot more stone here yeah, look at that a large cargo container is basically full 15,000 liters worth but that stone is slowly getting injected uh, let's just turn them off actually let's just turn them off for a second let's hop out the reason why I turn them off is I don't want to be ground myself Oh, that's probably why, because as you can see, that um, the stone is dropping, and of course, it's then falling to where gravity is, which is down here. And of course, the mining heads are just mining the stone back up again in a never ending loop, which isn't that good. Um, so, what we could do, I guess, is we can basically come out a bit, come down and then mine from this level because then hopefully it's lower oh it's higher so the stone should drop behind down rather than up and that should be fine let's just check Yeah, okay, we're still getting stone, but that's fine because it is getting ejected. Uh, let's just come out, see where that stone is falling. Yeah, okay. Not exactly the most efficient thing, is it? Uh, let me just mine out here so it actually drops. Should basically drop straight down there. Yeah. The joys of mining, hey. Right. Let's um, do a little bit more. Getting the stone as per normal, but uh, that is getting ejected, which is fantastic because, as you can see, the quantity is slowly going down. Yep. So all of that is basically the iron that we're mining. Right, a little bit more. Yeah, getting the iron coming in and the stone coming in but then going straight out. And of course all our ejectors are basically ejecting all the stuff. They're not all being used which is great, it means that we're uh, on top of the stone yep there we go, no more stone so we'll go forward a little bit more and that should be basically it get rid of the stone and we should have a full ship worth of iron Yeah, there we go, that's basically it. Yep. Cool, well our cargo, um, our cargo container, our large cargo container is basically full of iron now. Our industrial cockpit is full of iron. And our drills, uh, well I guess we can fill the drills up, can't we? Hmm? Put the jewels up with iron as well, why not? Getting lots and lots of iron now. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's uh, turn this off and let's 
pet out of here which is backing up rather well I'm actually quite impressed uh, let's go out to the third person view so we'll actually <laughs> see, see where we are why are we sideways that's ridiculous right come up a bit there we go oh okay we need some more batteries do you see that look at that go two directions look at that we are using more power than we have so I need to add two more batteries and uh, oh ha 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 okay it's not exactly stable is it are we gonna yeah we're gonna yeah so that is yeah okay so we probably need a couple more thrusters on the sides i guess just to make it more stable because look if we go like that we actually start drifting down look at that mm. so yeah okay a couple more thrusters at the side then i guess um but let's just take this back to base so i need to add basically two more batteries and a couple more thrusters at the side and uh, that should be it. Right, come down. Oh yeah, we definitely need some more fossils at the side. Yeah, need some more batteries and some more fossils at the side. Right, let's make sure we're lined up. There we go. Oh, there. Right, come down. Oh, ouch. Right. There we go. Landing gear engaged. Brilliant. Come out now. Hopefully, we should see that all being deposited. Look at that, yep, yeah. connected. Look at that, it's all getting pumped out into our refineries, which are all now working to refine the iron. So, it's all working perfectly, right? Let's actually just add uh, two more batteries up the top here so we don't actually run out of power again because that um, that would not be good especially if we are in space uh, so go one and two okay two more batteries um, probably want some more reactors actually don't know let's um, Uh, small reactors. Where am I going to place them? Because I don't have any. Okay, these two. Okay, so if I put one there and one there, there you go. So this now has four small reactors in it. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, let's um actually put some uranium in them. Uh, large uh, reactor and again what oh, to get rid of that stone oh no I don't want that no pretty yet so that's it right let's go into here um, small reactor right put some uranium in that one Right, come down here. Large reactor. Right, done that. And what I'll do is I'll just um, put this stone in our base. Get rid of that. Right, come here again. Small reactor. Just be the last one here. And there we go. 
So let's actually just, uh, oh actually what I need to do is I need to put another couple of um, a couple of motors along here. So I guess this will be as good a place as any. Um, so we can put one two there like so. Not exactly the, the most prettiest thing in the world, but hey, it will do. Um, right. Do the same on this side. One, two. just sealed it up like we did with the other lot okay there we go don't really know what we're going to do in here um, can I actually paint that block because that's it seems to be pointless having it there since it's not actually on the other side either save some weight and get rid of it there we go. Alright, so we have basically four batteries, we have four small reactors, we have a whole bunch of pooper ejectors or pooper scoopers. Well, they're not scoopers, are they? The pooper ejectors. We don't want to you know, get rid of the stone. Whole bunch of ion engines. Uh, let's just have another little go with this now that we've got it. Um, Yeah. So yeah, okay. That I mean, we'll have to try it out, but that'll work. Yeah, look at that. It's not exact. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yep, I'm happy with this. This is um, a nice little ship here, and as you can see, the power that we've got is basically three days worth of power two days actually and um, if we go three direct or two directions um, two thrusters on you've got 11 hours of thrust which is absolutely fantastic so plenty of thrust um, yeah that's it so that's all I wanted to do today um, so what we will do in the next episode is we will go ahead and uh, why aren't I going down? Because I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that was a mistake. I oh, shite. What happened? Is, uh, is everything alright? Did I, did I kill anything? Something smoking. No, everything seems to be fine, right? Whew, okay, yeah. Gently with it. That uh, that could have been quite painful. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so the next episode, what we will do is we will take this out and we will go up to our little um, uranium asteroid up there and we'll go and uh, get a full load of uranium. And then we'll go ahead and get some more um, ores like platinum. I think we need quite a bit of platinum. And we'll get some more iron and nickel and cobalt and things like that. And um, yeah, part of that obviously is we'll time lapse it because you don't want to see me mining all of that because that would be quite, uh, you know, uh, yeah, quite tiresome and boring. So um, yeah. Let me just connect here properly. Ugh, there we go. There we go. Right. Um. Yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, what we will do is then what? Uh, yeah. We'll start on a combat ship. So we'll design a combat ship with some Gatling guns and maybe some missile launchers on it, 
uh, just so we can go out and see if we can mess around with the uh, the NPC um, bad guys out in space and uh, see what we can get up to there and uh, also too in the up and coming episodes we will start work on our big huge mothership um, that will take us out into space um, so we can start building stuff around asteroids and things like that because yeah mining asteroids is a hell of a lot easier to do than mining on the moon or any other planet simply because you know the ores are basically on the surface of asteroids so you don't actually have to go digging for them so it's just a lot easier to get the resources that you need um yeah so that's it for now and i uh, hope you found this uh episode interesting um, i hope you liked the little miner that well it's not really little is it the miner that i've built um it seems to be doing the job quite nicely uh hopefully we've corrected that uh, sideways motion there by adding those additional thrusters and obviously with four batteries um we've definitely got enough power to last quite a while especially with those four small reactors in there as well um they are definitely helping out a hell of a lot and yeah our little um poop extractors there or our poop in ejectors um, just to get rid of all that stone that we don't need we just basically want the pure ore so um, yeah that seems to be all working a treat um, there is a uh, let me just put a block in there just to make it all symmetrical there we go God. I need things to be symmetrical I don't like it when they're not <laughs> anyway I hope you found this uh, episode enjoyable and uh, yeah let me know in the comments below if uh, what you think and uh, if you can think of any improvements that I should be making. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty impressed with this. And that uh, new industrial cockpit looks pretty slick. It's pretty cool. Anyway, until the next time, fly safe and uh, bye for now. <laughs>